everybody doing, huh? Woo! All right, good luck with this. Uh, so, every week here at Top Story, we have a special guest. This week is no exception. Please give it up, if you will, for the very funny Raj Desai. <laughs> pretty cool, but what I think would be cooler would be the opposite, you know? Like, I'd prefer to be older and only know what I knew when I was younger. <laughs> like, I would love to be 80 years old and only know what I knew when I was 16, and I would just be a dumb fucking idiot. <laughs> and they would be like, why does this guy say so much dumb stuff? Like, people like, hey, old man, decide, what do you got, what's going on in Congress? I'd be like, uh... I think of Congress. Uh, I think Congress is gay, dude. <laughs> Congress can lick my butthole. <laughs> now, who here wants to give me a ride to Wendy's? <laughs> Sixteen-year-olds all just want rides to Wendy's. Um, you guys know how? Uh, People always say about like the big time famous Hollywood actors, like some of the biggest actors, that they're gay and they won't come out of the closet. Because if they did, then um, they wouldn't seem, they wouldn't get the roles they're offered because in the movies they wouldn't seem believable. I'm sure you guys have all heard that. And I hate to say it, but I think I agree with that logic. Because like I've heard a lot of people say that about Hugh Jackman. You guys all know Hugh Jackman. And I just saw this Hugh Jackman movie. It's called Real Steel. Yeah. Yeah, okay, some of you have heard of it. In this movie, well, the movie is about Hugh Jackman teaching robots how to box. <laughs> he plays a robot boxing instructor. <laughs> and uh, after I saw that movie, I was like, man, if I knew for a fact that Hugh Jackman was gay, uh, this movie would seem ridiculous. <laughs> Boxing instructor? <laughs> I've never met anyone like that. <laughs> I have a lot of friends who tell me that they have days that feel like an episode of Seinfeld. And uh, I must be a lot less interesting than my friends because I only have days that feel like an episode of Reba. <laughs> you guys know Reba? I've actually never seen Reba. But, uh, but I like to read and read episode summaries on Time Warner. <laughs> it's on Lifetime all the time. It's just, it's the best thing about Time Warner. So they had one episode summary. All it said was, uh, Reba cooks too much pasta. Is it. <laughs> <laughs> and then like two weeks later, I was making some spaghetti. Good, good shit. And I was like, this is just like an episode of Reba. <laughs> some Reba heads in the audience. You guys would be happy to know that uh, Reba has a new sitcom coming out on ABC this fall. It's called Malibu Country. And in this sitcom, she plays a woman who gets divorced and moves from Nashville uh, to Malibu. Um, it's your classic Reba out of water story. <laughs> I think I've known this for a long time. Um, There's a reason I have a manila folder. I just don't carry that around. Not a lot of stamp comedians. Anyway, um, you guys, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I moved to Hollywood for one reason, and that is to become a giant star. And it's pretty much going to happen because, I mean, I look like a million bucks. Uh, I'm a dynamite, I got a dynamite personality, and I'm pretty smooth with the dress. So, you know, when you become a big star, people are always, always bugging you for a headshot, an 
autographed headshots, you know? Now I just figure, I'm just gonna get out of the way now. I'm gonna sign a bunch of headshots from a variety of scenarios so I don't have to you know, deal with it. Once I become famous, I can just date models or whatever. So I brought some here for you to check out. You guys wanna see some of these headshots? Yeah, you do. Yeah, okay. So here's the first one. It's pretty basic. It just says, uh, Besh wishes Raji D. This one is uh, this one is in case uh, dry cleaner. You know, you ever see dry cleaners? They always ask, so I figured I'd cover my bases. This one says, uh, "This photo is dry clean only." Ha ha. <laughs> now those are pretty basic ones. You know, this one. Uh, look at this poor guy. He thought he could book a dentine ice commercial. <laughs> Basic ones, but you never know what's going to happen in the future and what can happen. So this one is in case a Cyclops asked me for my autographed headshot. It says, "Dear Cyclops, thanks for keeping an eye on me." <laughs> okay, this one is in case I get my own TV show and I have a cat. It's like a huge TV show. Everybody loves it. And I have a catchphrase that people just love. It's, and my catchphrase is, uh, "That's some restaurant quality lemonade." <laughs> I really approve of something, or I like it. It says, meeting you with some restaurant quality lemonade. Okay, this is in case aliens invade. And they, they aren't interested in um, taking over, or, like running our government. They just, they, they have like, a, they want to open a coffee chain, chain of coffee shops. They open it up, it's a big hit, and I, I frequent one, and they, they ask me. So it says, uh, it's called Alien Roasters. Dear Alien ro like they call themselves Alien. Uh, dear Alien Roasters, your coffee is out of this world. <laughs> okay, this one is in case uh, they built, somebody builds a time machine, and I go back in time, and I join the Union Army during the Civil War, <laughs> and I participate in um, the March to the Sea, which was uh, led by William Tecumseh Sherman, you guys probably remember. And at the end of it, General Sherman asked me for my autograph headshot. So this says, Dear General Sherman, Never forget that time we got drunk on corn liquor and burned it land to the ground. <laughs> hey, you guys remember that term chillax from like, I don't know, 10 to 15 years ago? This is in case that term comes back and people start using it. But it doesn't mean to chill and relax at the same time. It means to be in the country of Chile and fax documents. <laughs> Thanks for faxing me your autograph request. <laughs> nice to know I've got fans in Chile. Though I'm a little jealous of all you guys who get to hang out, spend all your time chillaxing. <laughs> okay. And uh, this one is uh, is in case I'm in like a I'm in like a protracted comedy bit involving my own autograph headshots. <laughs> Sorry, but this is the best I can do for an ending to this bit. You've been some restaurant quality lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> Your house, Thank you very much. Guys.